everyone my name is Jacqueline Salazar but I do go by Jackie that is what I will be going as on this channel and that is what I go as in real life is Jackie um, this is going to be my second YouTube channel that I have created I do have another YouTube channel um, which is specifically for my gaming content I am a twitch streamer and I just wanted to keep the two channels separate I originally was going to start uploading on that channel but I thought I would just make this whole other channel because I do want this to be strictly for vlogs and, and entertainment and just like real life stuff and I want to keep my gaming real life stuff like separate if you get what I'm saying it's going to be my first video I'm going to be doing the mill spouse tag and yes I am a military spouse my husband is in the army and he is currently in training right now and I thought this would be the best way to introduce both myself and him because he is not here because he's in training obviously um, he is actually just about to finish up training here in like two weeks for basic and he's going straight to AIT he is doing the training called OSUT which is O-S-U-T which is basically where he does his basic training in AIT all in one go it is 20 weeks long Long. Um, so usually what happens is people will go to basic training you know do their whole basic training and then they will get to see their family for a day or two um, after they graduate basic and then they go straight to AIT and then do it all over again and then they see each other again after AIT but that is not the case with him he is straight basic AIT and I don't get to see him until he's done with AIT in April I was fortunate to have him come home for at least two weeks for HBL um, for Christmas and New Year's he was able to come home for the holidays which I'm so thankful the military does that now um, and also you know he does get to call home every Sunday um, which is something I also look forward to every week and I'm pretty sure he looks forward to every week that is another thing that I love that the military does now is they allow phone calls every Sunday when they're in training um, me and him do still send each other letters because you could only fit so much conversation in a 30 minute hour phone call you miss some topics sometimes that you want to talk about or you know sometimes I just send him encouraging words in a letter or whatever but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video question number one how did me and my spouse meet so this is a funny story it's like typical I feel like military relationships you know but the thing is me and my husband have knew each other way before he was in the military but me and my husband did meet on a dating app we did meet on tinder that is the truth when people always ask us you know how did we meet or whatever we kind of like are standoff about it I don't know why it's like such like a, a thing to be embarrassed about is like meeting on a dating app or meeting on you know tinder of all places but it is true we did meet there and that is how we met I was literally actually gonna delete the app the day he had messaged me and he actually seemed pretty genuine in his like questions and what he was asking and how he was talking to me it didn't seem like he was you know just trying to hook up like a majority of guys are on tinder they're just like there for one reason but there are some guys on there that are there to look for someone i did tell him if he wanted to continue talking to me he could have my number because i was going to delete the app and so i gave him my number and we started texting and i wish i still had the text messages of when we first started te texting um but I have changed my phone I think like once or twice since then and I don't have any of the messages backed up but yeah so we started messaging each text messaging each other and since then it's been history okay so we met in 2019 in June I was freshly 20 years old I had just turned 20 in May and he was I believe 21 he was 21 when we met and then he ha he turned 22 that July so he was 21 in June when we met and then he turned 22 in July so I was 20 and he was 21 so we're, a year, we're a year and 11 months apart yeah I think that's that's it but yeah that's how old we were when we met so I said earlier my husband is in the army it doesn't ask for his MOS in the question but I guess I'll tell you guys his MOS anyways because I don't see a lot of wives in this MOS like typically I see wives that are like infantry like that's like the most typical but I've never seen many wives say the MOS that my husband's in um, because I guess a lot of the guys that are this MOS are single usually my husband is 31 Bravo military police I am married to the popo okay <laughs> and I actually got in contact with another military wife because I had joined this military page and I had asked a question or something and had mentioned my husband's MOS and she said that her husband has been you know 31 Bravo military police 
for like seven years and I basically we started talking and she seemed pretty cool and she gave me the rundown and everything um, she says usually it's not very easy for um, military police wives to make friends for some reason because they're either like two-faced people that just want to know the drama going around base or you know just people don't want to be your friend because you are married to the police <laughs> so um, yeah so like I said we have been dating and seeing each other since June of 2019 and it is now what January 2023 we're about three years and seven months together we're gonna be four years in June if you're counting like the date we got together like as in dating um, but our wedding date is October 27th we got married on October 27th so we've only been married for like three three ish four ish months so we are from Houston Texas um, I am a Texan not like the Texan team um, we are not Texans we do not like the Texans I'm sorry we are a Cowboys family but we are from Houston Texas if you hear a little accent sometimes that's probably why um, we met before um, so yeah I know a lot of people meet after but we did meet way before he joined I think the hardest part about being a military spouse is being away from your spouse in the first place just the distance and the no communication is really hard especially when before this we were like literally joined at the hip me and my husband are literally best friends we are each other's only friend me and him are pretty like much I don't want to say antisocial, but we don't have any friends in real life um, where we're from like we have acquaintances and we have people that you know know us and that if we talk to someone they'll know who we are and whatever but we don't have like best friends we don't have people we hang out with on a regular basis um we were each other's best friends and you know just going from hanging out every day and sleeping next to each other every day and talking to each other every day whether it be texting on the phone talking on the phone or just talking to each other in person to absolutely no communication really sucks and you know it's hard it's really really hard when y'all were literally joined at the hip in the beginning it's a really big adjustment and I don't think a lot of people take that into consideration because a lot of people do hate on military spouses and you know them being emotional and whatever because their spouse is gone but at the end of the day you know we're not able to communicate with them 24 7 if I was able to communicate with him like at least text him or something I would be a little more okay with things but since I'm not even able to text him or communicate with him any way except on one day out of the week which is like a 30 minute phone call or an hour phone call it's like it's hard and it's because you're like always thinking in the back of your mind is he okay you know um, what is he doing like stuff like that it's just like not being in the know of what's going on in their life that's hard I don't want to get emotional <laughs> I think that's the hardest part it's just like the no communication and just being apart from each other because who wants to be apart from each other when they're married so no he hasn't been deployed um just because he is still in training <laughs> but from what i've heard i'm crossing my fingers that his mos doesn't really get deployed quote unquote deployed often he might get sent on a tour somewhere like in africa or like korea he might get sent to korea for a year or something but they don't consider those deployments i would consider it a deployment because you know he's gone i don't really think their mos gets deployed as often as you know infantry or something like that so i was able to see him in his uniform when he came home from hbl because they required them to wear their um i forgot what they're called what the uniform's called but yeah he did come home in his uniform and um i was able to see him and you know when they take off their jacket and they're just in their like t-shirt and their camo pants i was like "Ooh, like they look so good but my husband looked real good but i don't know i think i didn't prefer him in his uniform because my husband's everyday attire is usually freaking basketball shorts and a t-shirt you know so seeing him in his uniform just does something you know it's just like ooh, I don't know how to explain it um he went to basic in November so I've been a military wife since November so December January we're in the middle of January now so about almost three months <laughs> not long but you know it's felt like eternity 
excuse my language so we made the decision to marry before he joined you know we were already talking about marriage even before he joined you know because we were together already for so long and we we knew we, we were meant for each other we knew we were soulmates you know we were each other's best friend we knew we wanted to get married there's just that whole thing of we didn't have a lot of time to do it no here's how it went he proposed at the beginning of the month i think we were like for, engaged for like a week we went to go purchase the marriage license and then i think the week after we purchased the marriage license we got married that thursday i think it was a thursday that thursday and yeah it was it was just i was very rushed but you know i'm glad we did it and it was just easier for the paperwork process if you are thinking about either getting married before or after he joins i would say get married before if you don't want to deal with like you know the paperwork being delayed because they do do that paperwork for bah and like just spouse um allowance and stuff like that um while they're signing into um basic and stuff like that they do all that paperwork there so it's just easier because when they get out of training i think it's like a longer process they have to go through the process once they get to their duty station or something so no because he wasn't in the military when we got married we do plan on renewing our vows in about five years and his contract is five years is he going to stay in the military i don't know i don't know if he's gonna re-enlist or whatever it depends on if he likes it or whatever if he is still in the military when we decide to renew our vows um I'm pretty sure he'd like to wear his uniform, I don't know. Currently, no, I live at my house at home in Texas. But I heard that getting military housing is not necessarily hard, but it is hard. <laughs> um, so I am hoping and praying that my husband gets some kind of orders here soon so I could go ahead and put us on a waiting list for wherever he's going um, because housing, you know, is hit or miss um and waiting lists are kind of long sometimes they're short sometimes people's orders change so the military is just always just up in the air with things it's a lot of hurry up and wait i've heard i'm hoping to be on military housing but you never know so we were only married like i said for about two weeks before he left for basic which i think was one of the hardest things because we didn't even have like a honeymoon we didn't get to do like any of like that, that stuff it was just like soaking as much time as we had together left for those two weeks and a lot of those two weeks he was gone for like doing stuff like he had to keep going back to the recruiting office and doing things for them and then before we knew it the two weeks was up and he he was gone and the goodbye was so hard the first time and then he came home for hbl and we had to say goodbye again and that goodbye was like 10 times worse for some reason you thought it would be easier but it was like 10 times worse I don't want to get emotional <laughs> like I said um but he was very emotional that second time for some reason like it was hard man it's hard and knowing that I'm gonna have to say goodbye to him a third time most likely um after he graduates AIT um is is gonna be super hard that is the end of the questions the questions down in the description below if any other male spouse wants to make a video like this but like i said i thought this was one of the best videos to do for my first video here on this channel if you guys have any more questions or want me to do any other sort of videos for you guys list them down below in the comments make sure to give this video a like so i know you guys want me to continue making content here just look forward to vlogs and stuff of that nature um like i said he is graduating in april so i might start to amp up more like military related content starting at the end of march um and going into april and just kind of showing you guys how i'm prepping for things um and how things are going and updating you guys as that goes on i will be vlogging his graduation and all of that stuff so just look for forward to that in the next few months january and february i feel like are gonna be pretty boring but i'm gonna try for you guys i'm gonna try to get some vlog content out for you guys and just content in general like i said let me know what you guys want out of this channel and what you want me to make videos about and stuff like that so that is all that i have for you guys i will talk to you guys later bye okay i thought i would hop back on here real quick because i literally said i'm introducing me my husband to the channel and i didn't even show you guys what he looks like but this is my husband his name is joe so this is joe you guys will be seeing him in a couple months but this is my husband and this is how i hold on to him that and the little builder bear we met to, uh met together what the build a, the build a bear we made together before he left back um the second time but
this is Joe and this is us <laughs> but yeah I thought I would show you guys what he looks like and who to look forward to looking at when I start vlogging with him okay that's all bye